let's take a look at designing effective online learning. The training design or ADDIE model should be used to design e-learning. However, the emphasis at each stage should be slightly different than in typical classroom style traditional training. Needs assessment, creating a positive online learning experience, learner control, and providing time and space for online learning are three critical issues that need to be addressed for effective online learning, including web-based learning. Needs assessment includes getting management support of online learning. Also, the Information Technology Department needs to be involved in the design of any web-based program. Bandwidth refers to the number of bytes and bits, information, that can travel between computers per second. Online learning courses should be designed for the available bandwidth on the company's system. Online learning should also try to build interactivity without requiring the use of plugins. A plugin refers to an additional software that needs to be loaded on the computer to listen to sound, watch video, or perform other functions. Plugins can be expensive because they may require the company to pay licensing fees. In the design and development phase, the characteristics of a positive learning environment should be included to help aid retention of learning content and create a meaningful experience that motivates learners. Rapid prototyping refers to an interactive process in which initial design ideas are proposed and provided in rough form in an online working prototype that's reviewed and refined by design team members and key learning stakeholders. Repurposing refers to directly translating an instructor-led, face-to-face training program to an online format. Online learning that merely repurposes an effective training program will still result in ineffective training at some point. Effective online learning uses video, sound, text, and graphics to hold learners' attention. Effective online learning provides trainees with meaningful content related to realistic, on-the-job activities, relevant examples, and the ability to apply content to work problems and issues. Learner control refers to giving trainees the option to learn actively through self-pacing, exercises, exploring links to other material, and conversations with other trainees and experts. Research provides several recommendations for maximizing the benefits of learner control. Self-regulation refers to the learner's involvement with the training material and assessing their progress toward learning. Using formative evaluation of prototypes and web training can be helpful to identify the appropriate length and time of modules. Online learning blurs the distinction between training and work. Employees learn by informal, unstructured contact with experts and peers. Collaboration can involve an exchange among two or more trainees or among the trainer and experts. Linking includes the use of hyperlinks. Hyperlinks are links that allow a trainee to access other websites and include printed materials as well as communication links to experts, trainers, and other learners. Massive open online courses, known as MOOCs, refer to learning that is designed to enroll a large number of learners, massive, accessible to anyone, open, using interactive coursework online, and it has specific start and completion dates, known as courses. To enhance their chances of being effective, MOOCs need to provide an interesting and engaging lecture that's broken up into quizzes and problem sets.